Hello, it's Jason Ward here with Jigsaw Jams Productions. We are here at a church at Mount Hope Church in Grand Blanc. Um, this is one of the kids' rooms right here we're doing. Um, we're going to be updating the whole entire sound system. they got an analog board, some really old, outdated speakers. Um, just the whole system was, was built years ago. We're going to be updating everything to a digital sound board, some really nice powered speakers. Um, actually, I'm going with the, the new series, the JBL, um, the Eon 7 series. It should be more than enough power for this room right here. i got the 12, 12 inch tops, and i got the 18 subs. And then I got the same, um, the Eon 7's um, 12 inch for the monitors as well on the floor. So I haven't played with this system yet, so I'm really excited to put all this together and see how this sounds. I've heard great reviews about this JBL system. So um, we'll see what happens. I, I'm also a big EV, Electro Voice fan. Um, I like JBL as well, so I did this system seemed to fit our needs. So I'm excited to try it out and get, get all this stuff right here kind of ripped out of here and the new system in. We'll go over some uh, setup and how I do that, how I'm going to program the board, how I do all the, uh, the, the board settings and everything, and, and get things balanced, get the game structure set up. So it should be a fun day. we got a got a lot planned here, so um, just stay tuned. Alright guys, we're back here. I just want to show you a little bit of the, the gear that we're using um, for behind the stage and, and in front of the stage here. We're actually going to be using a, a Behringer um, Rack Mount X32. I've been using one of those systems for years. It's a great system. I've never had any problems with it. I love their software. I love the programming of those boards. Um, we're going to be running the actual Midas um, Snake up here. I like the Midas sound. These are, these are great stage boxes. The DL32, excellent sound and box. So um, we'll be running this here up on the stage along with two circuits. We've got um, an electrician that came in here. He wired different outlets here for the stage. We have two dedicated circuits. So this half of the stage is on one circuit. This half is on another circuit. Um, these are all class D amplifiers, so they, they're not going to draw a whole lot of power. Um, so we're going to run the, the snake behind the stage here. These power conditioners are awesome. I got these from Sweetwater, great company. Um, Art is the brand here. For the price point, you get a, a voltage meter on the front. You get um, some light pullouts on them. And they do a great job for you know for a pretty low cost um, piece of gear here. You can go with Furman's or different higher stuff, but these right here for I think I paid like 120 bucks for these, and these are great little units here. Um, microphones, we're using uh, GTD Audio, and I want to share a little bit about this one here. Um, I've been using different microphones for years. I've, I've used Shure, I've used EB Sennheisers, I've used you know a lot of the great mics out there, and and those are all awesome mics. But if you're on a little bit more of a budget. I tried this years ago, it's the GTD Audio, I picked this up on Amazon, and honestly guys, this thing sounds amazing, it sounds just like the Shure, um, actually I think it's a little bit closer to the Beta 58s is what this sounds like, it's got a great sound and pickup in the microphone in here, this is an actual rack mount unit here, and there's four microphones in this rack unit, and this is just an awesome system, I think we paid like 350 bucks for this, um, I could be wrong, but it's somewhere around that price point, to buy something like this, in a sure form where it's a full rack mount unit, you're talking in, the, in thousands of dollars to, to get into that system. So um, if you're on a budget and want a great sound of microphone, this one right here, I've, I've used it for years and I've had really great luck with it. So we'll, uh, we'll hook all the stuff up, we'll come back and we'll kind of show you guys a little bit more. Thank you.
All right, guys, we've got the Yamaha MGP32 soundboard up here. We're going to be disassembling this, taking this out. We've got a rack here with some old amplifiers and some processing. All this is going to come out. We're going to put the digital mixer in. We'll have the touchscreen monitor here to control the system, along with an iPad for wireless remote control. So we're going to tear all this apart, clean all this up, and then start putting the new stuff together. So we'll see you soon. Alright guys, we're just back here behind stage, um, setting up the, uh, the rack right now. We've got the digital snake going in here, we have the, the four channel wireless microphone system going in here, we have power conditioners going in, and I think that's it that's going in this rack for now. we got a little extra space for a couple other things, um, but when I bolt these in here, um, just a little advice for everybody, I put everything in here and I leave all the screws a little bit loose. If you tighten this rack up, then the, the, your, your screw holes may not line up for your next rack. So I leave everything slightly loose until I get everything set in place, then I'll snug all the screws up. So just a little advice here, so stay tuned, we'll finish this rack up and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Uh, we're going to give you a quick update here. We've got the sound system installed. We got the soundboard all done and operated. We got the rack in the back all done and put together. We have the monitor speakers. We have the main PA system all put together. But I want to talk about this JBL um, Eon 7 series system. Um, I've been doing sound for, I don't know, probably close to 20, 25 years now. And you know, I know quite a bit about sound. I don't know everything about it, but there's, I, I know quite a bit. And to set these speakers up, I'm going to be honest with you, they were a royal pain in the butt. Um, when we plugged them in, hooked them up with the first time, I couldn't get any audio out of them at all. Then I had to jump through multiple menus in the DSP just to figure out different gain structures inside the speakers. We finally figured it out, and we finally got them balanced. Um, we tried the app, the Pro Connect app, and first we had to update all the firmware in the speakers, which took us about an hour to do all the speakers. And then we finally got those connected to the app. And, and then we finally got it up and going. So as far as a quick, simple, plug and play system, um, this was a little bit challenging to get up and running. But once we did get it up and running, I'm honestly just running everything flat. I'm running the sub at, I think it's a 100 hertz um, crossover, and I'm running the tops at the 100 hertz for the tops. And that's where my crossover point is. It sounds good there. I'm running everything flat. Then at the soundboard, I can tweak a little bit where I need to tweak. So for this sound system here, they wanted it simple and, uh, just being able to operate it under multiple users, and these users that are going to be using the system are not super advanced in um, sound and audio technology, so um, I did not run the subs on um, a separate fader. I'm just running this as a, it's a stereo system, and the subs are balanced already um, between the gain structures on the speakers to just sound good and balanced, so they got one volume fader that, that's a stereo mix. They don't have to control the subs independently. And, and then you know we got the rest of the soundboard set up. So we'll go through the soundboard in depth. We'll take you in the back and show you the rack a little bit. We did have the um, one of the subwoofers we never could get working. The um, the power light and the clip light were on in like this yellowish orangish color, and they were steadily on. We could get the LCD screen to, to power up at all. Um, we called Sweetwater. We did purchase these through, through Sweetwater. Great company. I love working with them. Been dealing with them for years. Called them up. Um, went through their technical service. 
They determined that the speaker was just faulty or bad, something was going on with it. They didn't question it. They instantly just overnighted us another speaker, and all we got to do is ship that one back in 14 days. A great company to work with, um, but for, for some reason, the one sub just wasn't working right out of the gate. So um, but, um, we'll get that up and running, and we'll show you guys like an overall how it sounds in here. Once these are balanced and sound good and, and get everything tweaked and dialed in, it actually covers this room very well. It sounds very good. I'm actually impressed with the sound quality. Very smooth, very clean speakers. The subs are, are very good. They're, they're loud enough to fill this room here with bass, very nice. Um, larger events, if you're gonna be doing weddings, probably up to a couple hundred people, the system would you know, probably rock the room pretty good. If you start getting into 250, 300 and, and up, you, you're probably gonna start running limited with the system. So um, just, just from my personal experience, you know, just you know, as an FYI, in case you guys are you know, wondering you know, what the system can do. So um, overall, I'm very happy with it. We have two floor monitors here on the stage. We have these crossed over um, at, at 100 hertz as well. I don't need any, any bass frequencies going through these right here. It's just going to give me for playback and vocals. Um, and then this right here will be the other subwoofer we haven't got it set up yet. <clears throat> it, it was delivered today. We just haven't unboxed it and got it hooked up yet, so that'll be coming. That's the subwoofer that's, uh, that's damaged and has uh, failed and not working. So um, we'll uh, take you all back and show you guys the rack, and then we'll show you guys the soundboard. All right, guys, we got the rack all built up here. Everything's tightened down. We got the DL32 from Midas. We got the GTD Audio four channel wireless mic system. And I have two power conditioners here. Um, so we have two different circuits are running for this system right here. Um, we're going to tidy this all up, push it back. All they got to do is come back here and flip these two switches on. That fires up the whole entire PA system, and everything will be, able to be ready to rock and roll. So I just want to kind of show you guys what I did here. I'm going to dedicate eight, the first eight channels to the board up at the actual front of stage. And then um, we're gonna do these four channels here, starting with nine, then 10, 11, and 12. We've got a few lapel mics we're gonna run in here and um, some other stuff that they wanna do and grow from. So um, we'll see. We probably won't use hardly much of these channels right now, but there's a lot of growth here for um, when they wanna grow in the future. So we've got our two monitors. We got left and right monitor out there, or just you know stage one and stage two monitor. Um, these are just mono mixes coming out of the monitors that we're actually running this uh, stereo left and right coming out of the system. So, And then we have the, um, the X32 rack. And I really like this rack right here. It's a simple, clean setup. Um, we don't need a full blown out soundboard in here with, with, with all the faders on and stuff like that. We're trying to keep this clean and simple and nice. So all we need is the, uh, the rack. We have a small Dell computer. It's an i5 processor, I think like 8 gigs of RAM. Nothing crazy. Matter of fact, you can run a smaller computer if you want. We picked this up for like 600 bucks on uh, from Best Buy, and it's a great computer. This will run all the applications we need to run. This is the M32 um, PC application. Um, it's a, it's an awesome app. I love this program. If you guys are not familiar with it, I'll kind of walk you through some basic things on it. Um, these are your layers on your board here. So I'm going to put main. You can tailor this into exactly what you want to do. This is a multi-touch screen monitor made by Philips. I picked this up, up on Amazon for like 300 bucks. Um, I love this monitor. It's a great screen. It's very responsive when you're, when you're moving things. It's just like working on a real soundboard, but it's, it's, it's all touch screen. So here, just like an analog soundboard, you have your whole entire channel strip visible to you guys. And here, here's some channels we got programmed in here now. So you can see some stuff is lit up here. It's real simple. All you gotta do if you want to go to your EQ, touch your EQ, bam, there's your EQ system. You can go back home. If you wanna go to your compressors, here's your compressors. Or you can go right into the channel and you can do your channel here. Here's all your stuff going into the channel. Your configuration, you got your gains. If you wanna stereo link it, your phantom power, polarity switches, your low, your, your low cut. You got your gate, dynamics your EQ, where do you want to send this to all your monitors, your mains, do you want to put this in your main or, or, or a sub mix or where do you want to route the speaker to, your effects rack, <clears throat> here's all the different effects going in and then here's another effects rack in the system. So there's a lot of power in this system. Um, it's very easy to set up. I love that you can literally customize these layers however you want. So once the channels come into the board, on a typical soundboard, you've got channels you know, 1 through 32 in order 1 through 32. With this soundboard, you don't have to do that. You can go to, um, like I made a custom layer here, this is user. So this is really all they need to operate the system right here. So here I put channel 9, 
10, 11, 12, then we got 14, 15, I got aux one and aux two. This is just a stereo um, aux for uh, playback music. So that's what's gonna be going on here. To tailor this, it's real simple. Like we'll go back to the main page, we can hit edit, and literally you just select what channels you want where. And then you can name your page, it's real simple. So we'll, we'll show you guys a little bit more in depth here on this board. Um, this wasn't really a, a video to go deep dive into this stuff right here, but if you guys are interested in more information on the PC application of the Midas M32 system, um, let me know. We can definitely uh, you know do a deep dive on this. There's a lot of power in the soundboard, a lot of flexibility. I love it. You know, there's you know nothing wrong with the other soundboards out there. There's great soundboards. Alan Heath makes a great one. The PreSonus board, and a lot of people use those. The Yamaha makes some good stuff. So it all depends on what you guys are doing, what you like. Me personally, I love the flexibility of this board. We'll do some more um, videos of the performance here tonight, kind of show you guys how it sounds, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Thank you. Jigsaw Jazz Productions here. Get ready to go finish up our church job. We'll see you guys soon.
we're here wrapping up the, uh, the kids sound room here. It was a good turnover. We took out all the old sound gear. The old PA system was extremely outdated stuff. The, uh, the sound booth up there had old sound boards, ancient analog um, a sound board with, with amplifiers and this stuff was way outdated, didn't sound good in here. Um, so anyways, we, we brought in this new JBL system right here, the JBL EN7 system, the 18 inch subs, 12 inch tops, what we went with, <clears throat> we went with a couple monitors. Um, overall, I'm actually very happy with the system. It took us a little bit to get there. Um, I will admit, um, I did watch a lot of videos on YouTube and the DSP on these was either a love or hate kind of thing and, and I could see a little bit of the hate towards these. I've been doing sound for 30 years. I know speakers very well. I know DSPs. I know, you know how to set things up. And to get these to connect with the app and to get these programmed and dialed in, it was a little bit challenging at first. But once you understand it and figure out how they just work in general, um, it's pretty easy to set up after that. So it was a little bit of a learning curve. So you know maybe that's just you know on the customers buying the speakers just to expect. You know, there might be a little bit of a learning curve, but once you figure that out, there it's, it's actually a pretty sweet little system. It sounds great in here. Um, it's a you know decent sized, medium sized room here, and uh, it fills this room here you know pretty well with with sound. So pretty happy with it. But thank you guys for tuning in. This is Jigsaw Jams Productions. Until next time. <laughs>